Hey, what's going on guys? I understand you want to learn split testing. I understand you want to know how to use Google Analytics to use the split testing feature. And that's exciting because you want to take two different pages or three or four, or however many you have, and you want to test the headlines. You want to test the colors. What works better? Uh, what capture page is converting better? So let me show you two different capture pages that I want to split test. And one of the main reasons why I'm doing this for my own self so I feel qualified enough to go out there and teach you. And second of all, it's almost 2015 and there's really not a lot of training videos on how to use Google Analytics for split testing. And I'm gonna show you how to set up the whole thing, okay? And uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Scott Rayleigh, by the way. Uh, I've currently been working online <laughs> split testing and, and building capture pages for many years now. Um, it started off when, when I got into my first MLM business and then I learned about affiliate marketing. I got into a company called Empower Network. I learned a lot about personal development. I learned a lot about driving traffic and really uh, started setting up my own products. Started teaching Facebook advertising and started teaching PPC and, and all that stuff. So now um, I have my own uh, course that just came out and uh, you know everybody should get it. You know, it's $7 and it's uh, called Being Your Biz, you know, the power of, of being. And Bing is its own uh, advertising platform. Uh, real quick, uh, if you go to Bing.com, okay, or Yahoo.com, Yahoo Search, when you set up an ad on any one of those websites, or I mean, when you set up an ad on Bing advertising, it shows up on those two main websites, which gets a buttload of traffic, and it's a lot uh, less competitive as Google AdWords, and it's a lot cheaper. And I believe that I have cracked the code with building Bing ads on Bing Network. So it's definitely gonna be a great course if you guys wanna dive into it. So the reason why I needed to build up a split testing campaign is because I wanted to split test a capture page here. Let me show you um, what the capture page looks like. This is it right here. It says the ultimate guide to Bing advertising and uh, it's a free report. You know, it's my lead magnet. You know, they hit the download button and it says yes, please send me this free report. I wanna get the free report. It's got a little testimonial here talking about how this report works. It's got a picture of me. And this is a great capture page for cold traffic. And uh, it's a good capture page for any type of traffic. But ultimately, guys, it's a free report. It's the first part of my sales funnel that leads to a $7 product. And uh, it's really important to split test these things. So some, some things that I could change and variation-wise, I can change my headline to green um, you know, and, and, and split test green. I could split test colors, uh, words, pretty much anything. But first off, you want to start with the basics. You want to just change the headline, uh, with a couple different variations. Okay. And what I changed my headline to on this page is a hundred percent free guide, uh, to making money with being. So anytime you talk about making money, uh, people, they're more interested, they're more in tune. So I'm going to be split testing this today. And uh, I'm going to be sending out two different emails um, and I'm going to be sharing this uh, capture page with them so they can download the free report, of course, right? And uh, you guys might want to find this page and go download the report yourself. You know, it's, it's a really good report. Um, let me show you a little snapshot of what it looks like. Uh, it's, it's, it's an awesome report, guys. I, I basically break down, you know, $997 in value. Um, I talk about why Bing is important, the, the main reasons. It's, uh, I even share with you how to set up your own coupons to start off. I, I share some, some results I've gotten with some campaigns um, and just incredible report, guys, that you guys can get for free. It's part of my lead magnet. And uh, guys, it's awesome. So go ahead and download this at your leisure. But in the meantime, let's dive into Google Analytics and let's really set this up. So first of all, we need to be inside our WordPress uh, uh, panel, like our WordPress site, okay? Because when you first set up Google Analytics, uh, it's going to ask you know you a couple things. Why do you want Google Analytics? And then you got to set up your your website, okay? Like I have two websites in here right now. I have a lot of Scott and Being Your Biz, okay? So you can set up multiple websites, right? You just got to add it, okay? And um, so I think you might want to go to the admin panel. This is important that we get the admin panel set up with your site before we can even go into reporting or customization and start doing the split testing portion. So go ahead and click on admin 
and then you're going to see somewhere on this site uh, uh, property. It's going to be a drop down portion, right? And then you're going to have, or you, or you can actually pick your site that you're working on. But at the moment, we're going to choose create new property so we can go ahead and get the analytics code. Because what we're going to do, guys, is we set up your site on Google Analytics, right? And then we get the pixel or the, the script that we're going to load up to our website. So we go ahead and click on that. Then you create your, your name of the website. So um, I'm going to do uh, another website I have, cpafacebookacademy.com, because I already set mine up. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this with you so you know. CPA Facebook Academy. I'm going to go find my site real quick and put it in there. Here it is. Got my site. Uh, what? Then it asks you what industry you're in. Just do whatever industry you feel like it and get tracking ID. Okay. It's going to load up your site, getting the tracking ID. And this is important. So this ID right here is a script that you load up into your settings on WordPress. And um, the settings that I use on Optimize Press, there's a way to actually load this up all on, on all the pages. Okay, and I'm going to show you how that works. So we're going to go ahead and log into my WordPress site. Okay, and I'm going to show you where I go to load my script. Okay, so we go over here to Optimize Press, go to your dashboard on Optimize Press, and it's right here. It says uh, Analytics and Tracking. Click on this, and uh, it actually even tells you this is where the Google Analytics code goes. Google Analytics code goes here, so I can just go ahead and paste that in right here, and then I hit Save Settings. Now what's awesome is it actually saves for all of my traffic. Everything that I do, guys, it's going to be saved right here, okay? Which is an amazing, amazing that that does that. So now that we have that saved, we want to make sure we have two variations of our capture pages, okay? I already have two variations right now, but the way that you can do it is you just go to your dashboard, okay, on your WordPress site, and we got to create two different pages that we want to test. Okay, you can just do like I did where I'm split testing the headline or you can create completely different capture pages, like completely different layout, completely different everything. So if you just want to uh, clone it like I did, I just took my, my page and I cloned it, right? That's all I did. It just makes it easy and then I edited my headline, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Google Analytics. Um, I'm going to pick the site that I'm using. And I'm going to show you where to go. So now that our Google Analytics is working, we have our thing set up, we're going to go over here where it says reporting. Click on reporting. And you scroll down on the far left hand side here and you go down to what you call behavior. And what we call split testing, Google calls uh, experiments. Okay, so down here we had to click on behavior so it dropped down. And then you go even further and you click on experiments. Okay. And we got to click on right here, it says create a new experiment. Create a new experiment. All right, so I'm just going to do this with you guys. Hopefully, you can understand uh, what's going on here. So I'm just going to do uh, lead capture page conversions, right? And what I noticed here, this kind of throws off a lot of people, is um, you need to put in here your objective, okay? Like, this they already what they have right now is they have default objectives they have like if people bounce off your page paved views session duration okay you don't need those you want to create a new objective and the new objective uh, I'm going to show you how this works so I usually just scroll down to custom I don't pick any of these templates I just go down to custom okay hit next step and then I do uh, lead conversions and what they're asking for is the destination after uh, people put in your capture page. So there's always, this is how it works, guys. Anytime someone puts in their email on a capture page, it always goes to a, what you call a thank you page. Thank you page, T-Y, thank you. And this is, uh, this is what page you put in here. Okay, this is how they track it, is you put in your thank you page, right? That's what the, the destination URL. So go ahead and hit next step. And then that's where we put in the destination page. So let me show you what my page looks like. Okay. And they only want the last bit. They only want the last bit of the page. So you only put in uh, like right here. 
uh, $7 bonus or seven bonus. You don't, you don't put the full website, you just put uh, the last part of it. So if it's like, if it's uh, beingyourbiz.com forward slash, and then this is where you put the information. And uh, you can turn on how much money it, it costs or whatever, but I just hit create goal, create goal. So now we have the goal, right? And now we can go, uh, now we need to go back to uh, reporting and then experiments and uh, go back to our experiment here. And then this is where we can um, select our metric, okay? And our metric was lead conversions so i'm going to go before our metric was our goal was it in here so now our goal is in there so now we have a goal before a second ago we had to create that goal which is an objective so now that's created i had to go back to google experiments and then finish and then this is where you can actually like test a percentage of your traffic like if you have a lot of traffic you might want to only test 10 percent. but if you don't have a lot of traffic you just want to do 100 percent you can also do email notifications if you want uh, have them email you uh, you know if, if for every conversion and you hit next step and uh, it's pretty simple after this now you put in the two variations of your capture pages okay so you have let me go ahead and put this capture page in there okay so you just go ahead and put this page and then this is the original page so there's something really interesting um, about how this works guys when it's the original page um, it's important that you that you follow what I'm about to teach okay because when it's the original page you only need to install the Google Analytics on that page okay like um, for example we know that that analytics code went on all of our pages a second ago went on all of them well when we're doing variations only one code goes on one of the pages only one page when you're doing a split testing okay and that's the original page which is this page here so um, so I'll show you here in a second so you don't load the code on all of the pages you only load them on one okay so um, these pages are very similar except for the headline as you can tell uh, so we, if you want to add more variations say if you want to add three different uh, variations you know you can add three we just hit next step now Okay, now we're going to click on, I want to manually insert my code. Go ahead and click on manually insert my code. And then this is what I'm talking about. It says make sure you put it on your original variation page. That's the first page I gave them. So we go ahead and click on that. And we go over here to the original page. Okay, that's this one. Uh, I mean, this one. And then I click on page settings. And then you basically install it in the header. The head, it's like called a, a header a header script. That's what it's called, guys. And you put you put that the script right here in the header portion. It's actually hidden from everything. And I already have it in here right now. Okay, Google Analytics, and I have it in there and I hit update. Boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And so uh, then it'll tell you if it's verified or not. It'll say, okay, is it verified? You'll go ahead and hit next step, next step. It'll actually let you know if it found it or not. And it, di it didn't find it because this is a different code than the other codes that I'm using. So I didn't actually load up that code. So it found the, the, your, uh, your Google Analytics code, the regular one on the other page, but now it's looking for the experiment code. Okay, you're only using the experiment code, right? It, uh, on one of your pages so that's how it, it tests everything and then you uh, hit start experiment and then once you're done guys you just go over here to reporting and you can stop you can start checking out your dashboard and start looking at your you know who, who's coming to your page the demographics who's getting more conversions than the other one and uh, that's exciting so that's pretty much how it works guys you set up a Google account you clone or create different pages you load up the Google Analytics code on all of your sites by that one setting, and then you go create the experiment. First you create the goal, then the experiment, and then you go put in the capture page that you wanna experiment with, and you load up the code only in one of the pages, which they call it the original page, and then you start driving traffic to both the pages, and then it'll tell you which one is converting more or not, okay? And that's how that works. I'm gonna follow up through 
with uh, what page is working for me, which highest, which is the best page for me, and I will follow up through how to go over your numbers and reports and stuff like that. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like and share. Uh, it's definitely going to be a great help for a lot of you out there. All right, talk to you soon. And check out my beingyourbiz.com uh, course. It's definitely going to be a great course, uh, guys, and uh, you guys are going to learn a lot about getting traffic to your website, and uh, you guys will see my own campaigns. Um, you'll see uh, how to get coupons, um, how to just get insane amount of traffic, and that's about it, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.